Hi, and welcome to this Pinnacle Studio tutorial. Today, we'll show you a great new feature in Pinnacle Studio. Selective Color is an effect that lets you fully or partially desaturate a video or photo while preserving one or more focal colors. For example, you can preserve the bright red of this lady's coat while making the background greenery turn black and white. Let's jump in and see how we apply the effect. I've got four clips on the timeline that we'll add selective color to. Let's select our first clip, the lady in the red coat. Then open the editor panel, then effect, and click color, then select the selective color thumbnail. You might have to scroll to the right by using this arrow to see selective color. Now we click the eyedropper tool to select the color that we want to preserve. We can either click a single color or select an area of color by clicking and dragging. So let's select the red of her coat. We can select additional colors by holding down control with the eyedropper tool still selected. Let's say we want to retain the color of her face as well as her coat. Let's play the result. It's looking great. On the second clip, we want to retain the color of the sea in the sky, but turn the bride and groom to black and white. First, add selective color again. And then let's click and drag first on the sea, then control click and drag on the blue of the sky. And you can see it tracks the colors really well. On this third clip of the race cars, I want to make the red car stand out, but I don't want the rest of the colors to completely change to black and white. I just want them to wash out a bit. So let's add selective color again, and then select the red of the red car. And we'll get its purple flash as well by control and click. Now the other cars are all black and white, apart from their rear lights and flashes. Let's add a bit of color back in by changing the saturation level. About 80 looks great. We can see the red car really stands out now. For the final clip, we'll keep the sky color but turn the girl to black and white. Add selective color in the same way. And then select a bit of the sky. The problem with this is we have some artifacts showing where the sky is lighter than the part we selected. To get rid of this, we can use edge softness. Let's turn this slider up until the artifacts disappear. About 66 looks great. One final thing we can do is use the reverse option. This is good for if you want to remove the color of something like grass, which has a lot of different shades, but want to keep a more complex foreground color. You could just select the grass and then reverse your selection. Or we can use it for creative effect, switching between the normal and reversed selective colors with quick jump cuts. Let's split this clip a few times at regular intervals, and then select reverse on every second split of the clip. You can also add keyframes to both the saturation and the edge softness parameters. So after selective color has reversed a few times, we could add a keyframe to saturation to gently fade the color back into the girl. With selective color, you can get some really creative results quickly and easily.